Toy Story 3, Andy's grown up now, and he's going off to college. And uh, now Buzz and Woody and all the other toys that are left, because not all the toys are still there, are now facing that reality. And what's going to happen to them? Well, why well, we, first of all, are right here in San Francisco, so this is our backyard. And for me, personally, I love coming to WonderCon because these guys are such huge fans. It makes you just feel so good. We have about six more weeks left of making the movie, so it's a wonderful boost to get it going. And so it's just, it's just the fan base is amazing and so positive. One of the big challenges, aside from the fact that it was really intimidating to like make a film that we thought would be worthy of being in the first, with alongside the first two, is that we have all brand new technology, but we had to make the film feel like it was still part of that world in a design sense. So that's a big challenge to access all the new technology but still keep our foot firmly grounded in the design capabilities of the other ones. The way Lee and I looked at this was a trilogy completing this story. So, and that's how we how we grounded ourselves in the storytelling. And we couldn't think about anything besides just making this movie as great as it could be. It's it's well, you know what? Not only are they so amazing as actors, but they're also some of the nicest, classiest people in the world, except for Jeff Harmon. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> he's, amazing, he's amazing. He's <laughs> amazing. Everybody's great. No, we've been so fortunate, and everybody—they're all good. They bring so much energy and heart, uh, and we try to get as much of that into the film as possible. Because in animation, you have to try to get that performance in there so it feels spontaneous.